Heavenly Father, we humbly gather in your presence, eager to delve into the profound passage in Luke chapter 11, verse 27 to 28, where Jesus emphasizes the blessings of hearing and keeping your word. Open our hearts to your teachings and inspire us to be not only hearers, but doers of your word. In your holy name, we pray, amen. Our reading for today from the book of Luke 11, 27, 28. As Jesus was saying these things, a woman in the crowd called out, Blessed is the mother who gave you birth and nursed you. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Gracious God, as we meditate on these verses, we are reminded of Jesus' profound statement on the blessings of hearing and keeping your word. We witness the significance of not only hearing, but also living out your teachings. Lord, we confess that at times, we may hear your word, but struggle to put it into action in our lives. We acknowledge moments when we falter in living out the truths you've revealed to us. In a world filled with distractions, we find inspiration in Jesus' reminder of the true source of blessing obedience to your word. We are challenged to be diligent in our commitment to not just hear your word, but to follow it faithfully. Heavenly Father, we come before you, seeking hearts that both hear and obey your word. Just as Jesus emphasized, we lift up to you any shortcomings in living out your teachings. We pray for the wisdom to recognize that true blessing comes from not only hearing, but also living out your word in our daily lives. May we be transformed by the truths you've revealed to us. We ask for the grace to be not only hearers but doers of your word, applying it in our actions, attitudes, and decisions. Help us to embody your love and truth in all we do. We lift up to you those who may struggle to live out your word in their lives. May they find the strength and courage to align their actions with your teachings. We pray for the humility to be obedient and faithful in following your word, recognizing that in doing so, we experience true blessing. In all things, may our hearts be aligned with Christ's call to hear and obey your word, finding the ultimate blessing in faithful living. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who lived out your word perfectly. Amen. Loving and faithful God, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, we thank you for the profound lesson we have received through Luke 11, 27, 28. May it inspire us to be not only hearers, but doers of your word, finding true blessing in faithful obedience. In your holy name, we pray. Amen.